Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with Flutter development in a Windows environment. Flutter is an open source UI software development kit for cross-platform development. So you can do development for Android, iOS and for web apps uh, to be run on the desktop. In this case we will be using VS Code for an IDE. So the best way to get started is to just Google for Flutter and the first hit is the Flutter page. There is a get started guide here. So then you select your platform. So in this case we have Windows 11. So let's go in the Windows and primarily we want it to work on Android. So let's choose that. And here we have instructions on well, the hardware requirements first. Then we have software requirements. We have the development tools. So you need to install Git for Windows. So just go to the page, download it, install it, all the default settings, that will be fine. Then download Android Studio from this page. Uh, well, okay, this page actually goes to some instructions and you actually need to press on the download button here and then well, you can scroll down you will find the installation packages here so windows 64 bit so download this one and install it then go ahead and download and install visual studio code i'll there's a link down below in the description for my video on doing that we will also need the flutter extensions but that will be covered here in a moment. Then we need to install the Flutter SDK to get the Flutter extensions for VS Code. After we have installed VS Code, just start VS Code. Then go to the extensions here and just search for Flutter. And it's the first one by Dart Code. And yeah, you will have an install button, so it's a one click install, it's very easy. And next, it will guide you through getting the Flutter SDK. So it says press Ctrl Shift P in, in the VS Code app. So Ctrl Shift P, and here you, you type in Flutter. And well, the first one will be Flutter New Project. So press on that. And it will prompt you to locate the Flutter SDK. I already did that, so it won't do it for me now again. But this is the uh, phase where you need Git installed because otherwise it won't be able to download it because it uses Git for downloading the SDK. Just find a folder for it and um, get that downloaded. The instructions here are quite specific, so it's also telling what the, what, what uh, pop-ups you're getting in VS Code and what, what's happening, so just follow through these steps. And click Add to Path, and once you are done here, uh, restart VS Code and also PowerShell if you have that open. Then you need to configure Android development, and for me at least, um, the default installation didn't get all of this stuff installed. And well, there's instructions for first time using Android. It says install these components. If if you if you have still the chance you didn't do it already, then uh, check if there are boxes which you can check to get those. But there's also instructions if you already have it installed, so I, I had to follow these. So according to the instructions, you need to get to the SDK platforms, and uh, well, somehow I found the instructions a bit confusing here. It's under more actions, it actually tells you that, but it just tells you two other options first, but more actions you have here, SDK manager. And here you have to have this Android API certified checked. And then under SDK tools, you need to have this here, build tools. 
and an Android SDK command line tools, latest Android emulator, Android emulator, hypervisor, driver installer, and Android SDK platform tool. So these are the things you need to have checked. And once you check something new, it will have a download icon like that. So press on that and it will have that downloaded for you. It's quite easy when you see it visually. Okay, so next we get to configure your target Android device. So for me, virtual device is easier. So you need to enable VM acceleration, or well, you can go to that link and do all a bunch of checks, but I didn't need to do anything, so I kind of skipped that step. Then go to start Android um, Studio and go to settings dialog view the SDK manager well, again I found this part of the instructions a bit confusing but I'm going to show you where you need to go so again here in Android Studio go to more actions and virtual device manager this is actually the correct place you need to go to and you need to press on the plus button and then follow through the instructions so for example I selected well I'll just go to edit and so show you what I selected in the new device so i did pixel 7 and chose the android api 35 and it says you need to go to advanced settings and choose hardware graphics and well these are the ram and internal storage settings i have in here so once that's done you still need to finalize by agreeing to Android licenses. So it says open an elevated console window. So what I think that means is click, click on start, type in command, right click and run as administrator and click yes. So in here you need to do that command flutter doctor Android licenses and um, well, for me, it didn't work on the initial go because I was missing the command line tools I showed you earlier, which you need to install this command line tools. I was missing that checkbox. But if you have that done, then this step should be quite trivial. Just accept the licenses and you should get through that. Then you still need to run Flutter Doctor. And this you should do in PowerShell. So just open open a PowerShell window from the start menu, type in Flutter Doctor. Hmm, that didn't work, but I opened a new PowerShell window. So it seemed I had one left open and it didn't get updated, but it's saying no issues fine. So it's checking all those things and that's fine. And it also again gives you some troubleshooting instructions. But after this, you're really ready to go and I think a good idea is to if you haven't used Flutter ever before uh, is to go to learn how to write your first Flutter app and start code lab and, and kind of follow the instructions to do the the first project and it actually guides you to use VS code so you don't need to use the Android studio for for coding and um, it's kind of even though the installation was a bit of pain I think uh, after you have that that done and for all, for all the coding instructions it gets a lot more fun and you can select here like you want to run that device you created here's the Pixel 7a so we can launch that and I can show you show you what it looks like okay i somehow managed to lose that mobile emulator but if we select chrome in here and press on the debug button we can still see what this uh, demo app looks like so now it started up in chrome and it only says a random awesome idea sound made and then it has a next button and it creates a new word in here but anyhow this is how you 
installed Flutter and I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.